find the limit as xy approaches 0, 0 of this multivariable function here. So whenever you have a limit, the first thing that you should try is to replace all of your x's and y's uh, with what they're actually approaching. So in this case, both of the x and the y are approaching 0. So here we get 0 over 0 plus 0, which is 0 over 0, which is undefined. So that strategy uh, did not work. Let's go ahead and try to see if this limit even exists. Let's try approaching from maybe a couple different directions. Keep in mind this is a, a, a multivariable limit, so we're approaching 0, 0, which is the origin, and we have to be able to approach from every direction for this limit to exist. Let's start by approaching along the x-axis. So we'll approach 0, 0 along the x-axis. So we'll take the limit, and now let's see, if we're approaching 0, 0 along the x-axis, basically what we're doing is we're setting y equal to 0. Okay, so here we'll still have the x, but I'm going to go ahead and replace the y here with the 0. And then we're approaching 0, 0. And now you literally just plug in 0 into your function, right? Because we're setting y equal to 0. We're traveling along the x-axis. So this is x over x plus 0. So this is equal to the limit as x comma 0 approaches 0, 0 of x over x. And this is equal to the limit. Lots of notation. It's x comma 0 approaches 0, 0 of 1. And so we end up with 1. So if we can find a different answer by approaching from a different um, path, uh, then the limit does not exist. So the natural thing to do now is to try approaching along the y-axis. Let me draw the picture again. Here's 0, 0, and now let's try to come along the y-axis. So when, when, when we are on the y-axis, x is equal to 0. So we'll set x equal to 0. And so we're taking the limit, and this time x is 0. So 0y zero is approaching 0, 0. And when you set x equal to 0, we just get 0 over 0 plus y. So this, this is actually just 0, so 0. And so this limit is 0. OK, so it looks like when we set y equal to 0, in other words, when we approach along the x-axis, we get 1. And when we set x equal to 0, in other words, when we approach 0, 0 along the y-axis, we get zero. The results are not the same, and so the limit does not exist. I hope that made sense.